Hi guys, today we'll be discussing about gamma decay and the radioactivity. Atoms have electronic energy levels and these electronic energy levels that atoms have possess electrons. An electronic transition can occur from one energy level to another energy level. When an electron falls from a higher energy level to a lower energy level, they emit energy in the form of a photon and this energy is equal to the difference in energy levels of the electron. In the same way, nucleons exist in energy levels and nuclear transition in energy levels is also possible. What would happen if you have an excited nucleus where the nucleons aren't in its ground state but they are in the excited state? and that nucleons jumps from a higher energy level to a lower energy level. The excess amount of energy corresponding to the difference in the energy of the energy levels is emitted in the form of a photon. Electron energy levels are of energy of few electron volts, whereas nuclear energy levels are quite energetic and they are of few mega electron volts. Thereby, as transition of nucleons occur at high energy, they emit gamma particles that are quite energetic. Here you can observe that the difference of energy levels are of energy of mega electron volts. Eg is denoted as the energy of the ground state and Ee is denoted as the energy of the excited state. And the gamma ray is being emitted and that is being symbolized by this particular Greek symbol of gamma. If you have a nucleus in its excited state where the nucleons are not in its down state configuration, some of the nucleons might be in the excited state. So what happens here? So guys, in such an excited state, nucleons can become a stable version of itself by jumping from a higher excited state to a lower excited state. This will lead to the emission of a gamma photon. This is known as gamma decay. Some of the most energetic phenomenon in the universe occurs through gamma rays. We cannot witness these events without a gamma ray detector. To address this, scientists have created a satellite called Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope that provides an unparalleled view of the universe. Gamma ray sensors are also used in the food packing and chemical industry to measure density, thickness and composition. Gamma rays are also used to treat certain types of cancer where the high energy gamma beams are irradiated on the cancer cells to kill them. There are two other processes associated with nuclear energy transition, one being internal conversion and the other being internal pair production. Let us first discuss about internal conversion. Internal conversion happens whenever the energy which is emitted by a nucleus by the nuclear energy transition they are not emitted in the form of a photon, rather it is absorbed by a nearest neighboring electron. So an electron in the nearest orbit of the nucleus absorbs the energy from the transition of a nucleon and the electron becomes free from the atomic energy level and the excess amount of energy goes off as the kinetic energy of the electron. So instead of a gamma photon being emitted, the atom as a whole releases an electron where the electron kinetic energy comes as a result of the nuclear transition of energy levels. Then that is known as internal conversion. Internal prayer production is also termed as internal prayer creation. Let us now discuss about internal prayer creation. Internal pair production or pair creation happens whenever the excess amount of energy in the nuclear energy level transition which is so high that it would lead to the creation of a pair of an electron and a positron. Pair production or creation is in a way opposite to pair annihilation. In annihilation you have an electron and an anti-electron which is a positron coming together to annihilate each other and become pure energy. The reverse is also possible where PO energy will be an electron and a positron. When the energy of the nucleus is sufficient enough, it leads to the creation of an electron and a positron. If the energy is greater than the rest mass energy of an electron and a positron pair, this is called as internal pair production or internal pair creation. So guys, that is about gamma decay under radioactivity. We have discussed about alpha decay and beta decay in our previous videos. 
the links to those videos are given in the description below hope you guys enjoyed today's video have a nice day